Well, praise God. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord God Most High. Hey, if there's, there's someone jumping on, if you're like the first one jumping on, can you tell me if the background noise is too much? I greatly value your help with this. Is the, uh, is the air conditioning in the background too much? Welcome, Alan. Welcome, Deltry. God bless you. Welcome, everyone else who's jumping on and seeing this um, in the future as well. But let me know if, if the... Uh, if the air conditioning is giving off too much of a a, a, a background noise, I'm either going to shut it off before I get started, but I want to pro provide the best possible audio uh, experience for everyone who's watching and listening. So praise God. God bless you. It'd be super helpful if you were to share the broadcast and help get the word of God out. And I want to share with you God's refining fire for you. God has more for you. If you didn't know, there's a greater level in your walk with God if you have not been baptized in the Holy Ghost and fire. And we're going to jump into Acts chapter 2. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to bless you. And you're going to be blessed. Stick with us for the, uh, for the hour of power. And God's going to do a great work in your life. There's revival happening all over the United States of America and all over the world. And I'm here to tell you that your best days are ahead of you and that God has great plans for your life. And if you believe it, God has great plans for your life. And if you believe it, type amen in the comments. You're not going backwards. If you're with God, you're the majority and you're going forwards. God will lead you upwards and he will bless you. Hallelujah. God's refining fire for you. I want to share with you the ability that God has to transform your life. There's no, there's no, uh, you know, you won't get it from worldly wisdom. The, the knowledge of God's word and what he has for you. But I want to tell you that God's plan for you is great. And he wants to lift you up. If you're in a bad place, he wants to lift you out of that pit and empower you and set your feet on the rock to stand and give you a new life. Praise God. That's what he did for me. And if you agree, hit the like button. And we'll jump into God's word. And since no one's complaining about the audio, then, uh, you know, praise God, we can get started. Let me pray for you. As we get started, I want to I wanna pray for you and pray for everyone who's going to hear this in the future. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you that we can always call on you and that we can approach your throne of grace through your son, the Lord Jesus Christ. So I pray right now for everyone who's watching and listening now and in the future, that you would bless them, that you would empower them, that you would strengthen them, that your refining fire would go to work in their life, that they would hear your word and they would receive faith to receive greater and greater things that you have for them. We pray that we would humbly submit ourselves to you and we ask that you would do a great work in our life. I pray that people would be filled with the Holy Spirit and fire, that you would pour out your spirit on them according to Acts chapter 2. I pray that everyone watching and listening would be empowered. I break every curse off of their life in Jesus' name. I pray that people would be saved, healed, and delivered by your power for your glory and for their benefit. In Jesus' name, amen. And if you agree, type amen in the comments. Praise God. God's refining fire for you. If nobody told you, if you've never received the baptism in the Holy Ghost and fire, there's another level in your walk with God. And it's messages like these that the devil doesn't want you to, doesn't want you to hear about, that the schemes of man people don't want you to hear about. But I'm here to proclaim God's saving, healing, refining, empowering power for you by the Holy Spirit. 
Praise God. He's got great things for you. Hallelujah. There's a scripture. Oh, I should have looked it up. It's, it's in the book of Psalms. And it's about proclaiming the wonderful works of God to every generation. Do not forsake me until I proclaim your saving power. Psalms. I'd love to see a comment where you're watching from. Drop a comment from the city and state that you're watching from or the nation of the world if you're watching overseas. Psalm 71 9. Let that be the first scripture that I share. Psalm 71 9. Welcome everyone watching on TikTok. And Facebook, last week I did uh, YouTube and TikTok. So now back on Facebook. You know what? Let's jump right into the message because I, I don't see the exact scripture I'm looking for. Nope, never mind. Oh God, do not forsake me until I declare your strength to this generation, your power to everyone who is to come. Let me proclaim your power to this new generation, your mighty miracles to all who come after me. God is so good. If you didn't know, he has miracle working power for you. Alan watching from Kenya in Africa. Oh, we love Kenya. Many Kenyans in my local church here in Lowell, Massachusetts. Praise God. That's wonderful. I love probably more because it, it's a little bit more exciting when we have people watching from overseas. So love, love, uh, love all my Kenyan brothers and sisters in, uh, you know, man, Africans are some of the best people that I know. Just like the most genuine, joyful, kind, like gracious people ever. And so uh, I, I thank God for Africans and, and many powerful men of God who, who shake the world with the power of God come out of Africa, the great continent. Hallelujah. God bless you. Ron said, Amen. Welcome to everyone who's seeing this, um, both now and in the future. I know the feed is continuous. Acts chapter 2. You know, I was thinking about trying to get the most perfect bullet points for tonight. And I just said, hey, I'm not going to tailor this to, to people who don't want to see it. I'm going to be here and minister God's word to people who are interested, people who are hungry. I'm going after low-hanging fruit, not, not high high hanging fruit where you have to get extra tall ladder and do all the work. I want people who are hungry for the things of God, people who are hungry for the Holy Spirit and fire, people who are hungry to get in the fight and give the devil a black eye and a busted mouth. And that's going to be done by the teaching and preaching of the word of God, by prayer, by spiritual warfare. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to empower people, preach the gospel, win the lost, and disrupt the powers of evil in the world because we have the authority. Every devil is under my feet. Every pr principality and power and ruler in high places in the evil realm are under your feet if you're in Christ. You've been given all authority by God through his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 2, when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire, and one sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Hallelujah. Jesus told his disciples, 
don't do anything. Don't go anywhere. Don't preach to people. Don't engage in ministry until you receive the promise of the Father, the Holy Spirit. When you're empowered by the Holy Spirit and the fire of God, everything changes. Complete game changer. He does a purifying work in us and through us. He gives us new desire and burns up the old ones. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, by the way, is the highest form of praise to God. It means praise the Lord. It's the same word in every language in the world, variations of, which there's no other world, a word in the world that exists like that. So when, when I say hallelujah, um, it, it's not a filler word. There's power in, in I'm giving the glory right back to God, which is why Satan fell from heaven. So we give God all the praise and glory and, and the honor. But there's a greater level of empowerment. And you know what? It was confusing to the people in the early church. This was the birth of the church. And people were confused. People were amazed. Let's read Acts chapter 2 verse 5. And there, and, and there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. And when this sound occurred, the multitude came together and were confused because everyone heard them speak in his own language. Then they were all amazed and marveled, saying to one another, Look, are not all these who speak Galileans? And how is it that we hear each in our own language in which we're born? Parthians and Medes and Elamites, those dwelling in Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya adjoining Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs. We hear them speaking in our own tongues the wonderful works of God. So they were all amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, whatever, whatever could this mean? Others mocking them said they are full of new wine. They said, no, they're just drunk. Praise God. I'm full of the new wine of the Holy Spirit. I'm not drunk on alcohol. I might look delusional to other people, but I'm filled with the Spirit of God. And my mission is to get you filled with the Spirit of God. For faith to rise up in you to say, God, I want that. If that's something you're doing, I want it for myself. I want to carry the power of God. I want to go and preach the gospel to all nations. I want to be someone who's used by you to shake the nations, to reach my generation for Christ, to see lives changed, to see my lost family members and friends and loved ones come to you and serve you. There's a great empowerment for you from the Spirit of God. God is looking to raise men and women up just like you, and he wants to take you from where you are now to a great and high and holy place by his spirit and by his power. Can you say amen? If you believe it, type amen in the comments. And you know what? This might be really bad for the feed, um, but I'm preaching good, and I want to turn that air conditioner off so that there's, uh, that there's not too much background noise. Oh, it's such a battle right now. I want to do it. You know what? I'm going to take my chances because I like it nice and cold in here. And I'm wearing two layers. Praise God. So I'll continue. If you believe, I love it. I see Ron said, amen. Ron's given us about 2 million likes. Praise God. He's receiving. You know, Jesus said that you cannot receive the kingdom of God unless you become like a little child. Unless you receive it by faith. That's all that is required. It's not, it's not like, it's not like fervent, militant obedience required right away. If you receive it by faith and move towards the things of God, you'll get there. It, now, if you go for militant um, obedience to God's word, you'll get there much faster. 
God will bring you. He will mature you. He'll raise you up. He'll strengthen you in the things of God and promote you. And God is looking to promote you. So where does this come from? See, what I'm about to read to you from Acts chapter 2 happened for me in my life even when I didn't fully understand what was going on. And I didn't know exactly where it was that Acts chapter 2, God prophesied that he would pour out his spirit. And so I experienced these things in a very raw way. Excuse me, and now I'm up. I'm now I'm the product of the Holy Spirit and fire working in my life. I love the Holy Spirit. I thank the Lord Jesus Christ for his empowerment to do his work. It's a high holy call. And I, I humble myself and I pray that God would always keep me, that I would not quench the spirit of God, that I would die to my flesh every day, and that I would not give way to sin or to things that would quench the spirit of God. I want the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And I see that for your life. God bless you, Teresa. God bless you, Ron. God bless you, Denise. Let me read this. Acts chapter 2, verse 14 now. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, raised his voice and said to them, Men of Judea and all who dwell in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and heed my words. For these are not drunk as you suppose, since it is only the third hour of the day. That's 9 a.m. But this is what the prophet, this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I will pour out of my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young.